Welcome to the Wine Barn of Winter Park. My name is Andres Montoya. Uh, we're here in central uh, Winter Park, Florida, just outside of Fairbanks Avenue. And wanted to tell you a little bit about what we do here at the shop. One of the things we really focus on are small production artisan wines. Uh, we take great lengths in tasting every single wine before we offer it to our customers. And that's our pride. Everybody that works in the shop, we really are focused on wine. We know our wines. I really wanted to offer something a little more than just wine on the shelves. And in the last six months, we decided to embark on our next venture, which was bringing a wood-burning oven all the way from Italy uh, to the wine barn. So in a few moments, you're going to be seeing Chef Ian Russell doing some awesome pies, some pizzas, some fresh ingredients, everything made from scratch right here in our Winter Park store and fired on our wood-burning oven. Thank you for watching Signature Chefs of Orlando and show you some of our really cool wine pairings and how we can make that perfect experience with great food, great wine, and great friends. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ian Russell. I am chef at the Wine Barn of Winter Park. I have been a chef for about six years, classically trained at the Culinary Institute of America. I worked primarily in New York City and the surrounding area and in Washington, D.C. We're going to make a, a pie today that's super classic, I think as classic as they come. It's the, the margarita uh, from, from Naples, Italy. Uh, I'm going to start by pulling out my pie dough, which, which we actually make here at the wine barn. We're just going to dust the floor with a little bit of flour. Try and get as little as, as possible on there. We don't want to really, really affect the pie as it is currently. Uh, we don't want it to stick too much either. The dough to a pizza is really, in my opinion, one of the most important, probably the most important component. And it took us maybe 10, 15 different adjustments to get this pie dough just where I wanted it. So that it's lightweight, that it pulls out thin, it's crunchy, it's a little chewy, and it works well in our 800 degree oven. So I'm just kind of pulling it out here to, to, to get up to size and using the edge of the table as an aid, kind of let gravity help me a little bit as possible, but not so thin that it tears. And when I'm done, I'm just going to move it over to what's called a pizza peel, this big wooden pallet over to my, my right here, it's about big enough, which I'm going to dust with a little bit of cornmeal. Cornmeal acts like a temporary non-stick surface. It, it, it allows the pie to kind of slide off into the oven after I've dressed it. So the margarita pizza is super simple uh, and, it, and it really relies on quality ingredients. The tomato sauce we make here, it's all uh, pear tomatoes that, that actually are imported from, from Italy. The mozzarella we have is pulled every other day. It is, uh, you can see, it's, it's as fresh as they come. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. And then we've got some basil that I picked maybe two minutes ago from our little herb garden here at the wine barn. When pies are this simple, the quality of ingredients is obviously crucial. I'm just gonna put a little bit of tomato sauce on the base. The rule is sorta enough to cover the pie but not so much that you can't see through it. You definitely want to be able to see through the, the tomato sauce to the pie. And then I'm just going to pull off a hunk of, of cheese here. Sort of break it. It's a super rustic style. Like I said, this is, this is an old traditional style of pizza. Put it on our pie here. You put plenty of cheese on there. No reason to hold back. Doesn't love a little extra cheese. I'm gonna finish it with just a little bit of kosher salt before it goes into the oven. And that's it, the base will go on when we pull it out. So this oven's scorching hot. It's about 800, 850 degrees in the, the dome. That's what the convecting air is, is temping out right now. The base of the oven is maybe 600, 650 degrees. 
and it's got hot spots and cold spots all over the place. The, the back of the pizza right now is facing the, the actual flames in the oven. I'm gonna let it hang out just for a minute until it starts to get some, some more color. And then kind of turn it so that all edges get to see the flame long enough. And kind of check the bottom from time to time just to see that it's getting that nice crunchy base that I want. And believe it or not, that's it. It's done. Fast. So pie's out of the oven. Uh, you can see we got a nice flame blackened sort of blisters and, and char just out around the edge. That adds a great little flavor component. A, a really, really important component in a pie that's, that's this simple. You know, you've, you've got a tomato sauce that's just got onions, garlic, uh, salt, pepper, a little olive oil in it, some mozzarella cheese fresh basil, extra virgin olive oil. It, it's super, super simple. So each component needs to be um, taken care of really, really well. I'm gonna finish it with a little bit of Himalayan pink sea salt, some extra virgin olive oil, some fresh black peppercorn, and then basil, like I said, that I picked just a couple of minutes ago from our little herb garden here. This pie um, would pair really, really well with a couple different wines. It's got tomatoes on it. Tomatoes have a, a, a lot of acid. They're a very bright uh, sort, of, sort of fruit. Uh, one that we think of as a vegetable, but, but really a bright fruit for sure. So if you were gonna choose a wine to go with this, something along the lines of a, a Sangiovese, maybe a, a Chianti, um, a, a Brunello, a, a Rosso di Montalcino, something from Italy is an, is an obvious choice. If you're feeling a little more domestic, uh, pick something that's light, something that's, that's delicate uh, in body and that has some acid, maybe a, a Pinot Noir. So that's it, that's a margarita pizza here at the wine barn of Winter Park. I am Ian Russell. Thank you for watching another episode of Signature Chefs of Orlando.